Hey guys, I want you to quickly think about the last presentation you gave or the last speech you gave. Now, how did you spend, let's say the last five to 10 minutes before that presentation? High chances is that you still went through your notes, you looked through all the details, ah, what am I going to say there? You rehearse in your head, ah, oh, this is what I'm gonna say on slide X, or maybe you're still doing some final tweaks to the slides. Now that's what most of us do. Now what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is, that you won't be in the ideal state of mind when the meeting starts. High chances are that you will still be busy worrying instead of being present, instead of being here with 100% of your energy. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five minute warm up routine that I do before every single presentation or speech that matters. It's powerful stuff, it's three exercises and I'll actually I'll include a bonus exercise at the end, a little weird one, so that you are in the right state of mind at 200% energy when your meeting starts. Let's go right into it. First exercise, shake out your body. Animals in the wild, they have coping mechanisms to deal with stress. So let's say an antelope. Antelope being chased by a lion. Lots of danger, right? Lots of adrenaline. And the antelope is just running for her life. At one point, the antelope escapes. And in that moment where the danger is gone, the antelope lies down on the floor and the entire body just starts shaking, letting go of all the stress that was just accumulated the minutes before. Now, why am I telling that? Well, we as humans, we're, we're also animals, right? But we don't have that mechanism to deal with stress. So most of the times that we have stress, we just suck it in. So shaking out your body is an incredible tool to let go of the stress. Now, how can you do that? It's just by shaking out your entire body. So start shaking out every single part of your body. Start shaking out your right arm, your left arm, your right foot, your left foot, rotate your shoulders. If you're at home, try to be as physical as possible. If someone were to see you right now, they should almost think that, I don't know, the devil had taken control of you. Now do that shaking for maybe one or two minutes and you will feel like a newborn baby. It's very powerful and very simple to do. Next exercise, breathe from your belly. We've all been in that situation where we're like, so I wanted to give a presentation about the importance of X, Y, Z, <laughs> hopefully not that bad, but we've all had that, right? We just are so nervous that we need to breathe so many times just to fill a sentence. So how can you avoid that? It's by breathing from your belly. So when you breathe in, breathe in through your nose. When you breathe out, purse your lips together and make that whistle sound. So When you breathe in, make sure that your belly expands. And when you breathe out, make sure that your belly goes inwards. While you breathe, make sure that that part of your body doesn't move. It's really just your belly that either expands or moves inwards. Doing that exercise for maybe five to 10 breaths makes you immediately more grounded, more present, and more energized for that specific moment. Next exercise, remember past successes. That exercise is an incredible exercise to get into that confident state of mind. For that, close your eyes and remember one or two events where you felt extremely confident, something where you accomplished something that you're very proud of. Now, go into as much detail as possible, really reliving that event. So, think about it. Okay, what did you do in that specific moment? How did you feel in that moment? How did others react? Did they come up to you and say something to you? Now go into as much detail as possible. Feel the emotions. The deeper you can go into the emotions, the more you'll get out of that exercise. It's powerful to do that just for two or three minutes to get into that very confident state of mind. All right, having covered the three exercises, let's move into the bonus exercises. Now, why bonus? Just because I think they're pretty awkward for a lot of people and 
you may not be able to do that exactly at work, but rather at home where you're not disturbing anyone. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about vocal exercises. Vocal exercises to warm up your vocal cords, to give you more resonance, and to improve your tonality. Now, let me walk you through three exercises that you can do at home. First exercise, yawn. Ah, ah. <laughs> Second exercise, lip rolls. Pretend almost to be this child playing with a toy where you're imitating that motor sound. And the third exercise for your tonality, um, do this siren. So you start low. enough of this foolishness. These are incredible vocal exercises just to get your voice as well ready for when it matters. That's it. That's a warm-up routine you can do before every single meeting, presentation or speech. Now it takes you maybe five, maybe ten minutes, but it's incredibly powerful. It will help you to get into that right state of mind. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more of that cool content, Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.